Third thing up, right? Crap, I was supposed to get this and I didn't get it, but I know what it is off the top of my head. Okay. Regardless, <laughs> let's talk about investing and that barrier to entry. The barrier to entry for investing is really, really low. Most of you can just get into investing by doing either you know, dollar cost averaging or you can use buy fractional shares. Fractional shares is when you buy a fraction of a share. So if a share is worth $100, one share, and you only have $10, you can buy a fraction of that share for $10. So you will owe one-tenth of a share. However, with fractional shares, now that you have to be careful with those, but when always remember, when you, you don't, um, when you buy a stock, essentially, I mean, not essentially, someone else is selling it. And most people buy, buy whole shares. Mm -hmm. So mo most people aren't buying fractional shares. So that's one of the um, things you want to avoid or precautions when doing fractional share investing. They are harder to, sh to sell. Now, so, 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 so is that dependent on who you're buying yeah. with? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That depends. Now you're good. That depends on the broker that you're using. Most, I, I Googled it, but most brokerages don't allow you to do fractional share investing. Okay. In general, for like all the members, you got stocks, you got ETFs, you got all the mutual funds, which I'll explain, but there are multiple things you can buy on a brokerage. Most of them don't allow you to do fractional share investing on all of them, or they have some type of threshold. Okay. Um, so yeah, it does depend on the broker uh, that you're using, and obviously they will they will let you know <laughs> what you can and can't do when you try to uh, when you try to buy something. Now, some of you are saying, well, Corey, I have you know a fraction of a share because I do you know dividend reinvesting. Yes. I didn't. I, I don't know. If that's that's what it is when you do that. I didn't make that rule. That when you do when you reinvest your dividends, you re you rarely have enough to buy a whole share, so you end up buying a fraction of a share. Also, though, with fractional share investing, obviously, if you buy half a share, then you buy another half a share. You have a you have a whole share. <laughs> However, you actually still technically only have two half a shares, so you you, keep, you don't get a whole share. It's not like a Dragon Ball Z when you fuse together. You still technically only have you know one half, two half a shares. You don't have one whole share. You have one whole share as far as your, the total amount of shares you own, right? But as far as being able to sell them, no, you technically have two half a shares. So they, they don't like get combined together. And I'll explain that when I'm talking about how you can sell uh, particular uh, shares that you own. Okay, gotcha. so again, the barrier to entry is really, really low with investing. You can get in with fractional share investing.